Welcome to the Elon Musk Signal Channel. SpaceX's history is marked by a series of breakthrough ideas that have amazed and impressed the world. Among these is the Raptor engine, a technical masterpiece that epitomizes SpaceX's cutting-edge scientific and technological prowess. Particularly noteworthy is the unveiling of the new generation Raptor inside the Star Factory, promising to revolutionize Starship's design. In this video, let's explore the creative journey and the powerful mysteries hidden within this formidable Raptor engine. Throughout its development, the Raptor engine has undergone a dramatic transformation, evolving from what Elon Musk described as a Christmas tree-like tangled mess into the powerful and sleek Raptor V2. Despite numerous successes, SpaceX continues to look towards the future. Recently, Elon Musk revealed details about the next version, the new generation Raptor. According to him, this version promises to significantly enhance production efficiency. Test fires are expected to commence at McGregor in just a few weeks. The highlight of the new Raptor is its fully integrated regenerative cooling system and secondary flow, eliminating the need for a heat shield, an unprecedented advancement in the field. Raptor Generation 3 V3 not only delivers superior power, but also completely eliminates the need for a 10-ton firefighting system behind the engine heat shield. Any leaks will be absorbed into the superheated plasma surrounding the engine, neutralizing potential risks. Elon Musk also disclosed significantly higher thrust and specific FISP for the Raptor 3. This information alone opens up many intriguing possibilities. It's noteworthy that around this time last year, SpaceX conducted first test burns of the Raptor V3. During these tests, Raptor V3 achieved a combustion chamber pressure of 350 bar, equivalent to a thrust of 269 tons. This milestone is pivotal for the future of Starship and the Super Heavy launch vehicle. Despite the successful test of Raptor V3 a year ago, it still has distinct goals compared to upcoming tests. At that time, the test engine was considered an experimental version for Raptor V3, and Elon Musk also shared. To be honest, we did not expect the engine to operate at full power at such high pressures. This is a completely new field. SpaceX's strategy is to focus on mass-producing Raptor 3 as soon as this optimized engine is perfected. This is entirely reasonable because Raptor 3 promises superior performance compared to Raptor 2. As Elon Musk mentioned earlier, eliminating the heat shield on Raptor 3 means there's no need for the cumbersome 10-ton firefighting system behind the engine. Previously, many had predicted that removing the heat shield would only reduce weight by 1 to 2 tons. However, Musk's figure of 10 tons underscores the significance of this upgrade. Unlike Raptor 2, where only the combustion chamber and nozzle are cooled by this principle, Raptor 3 extends efficient cooling throughout almost the entire engine. This system completely eliminates the need for a heat shield and the bulky firefighting system, significantly optimizing the rocket's weight. SpaceX has continuously improved both the Raptor 2 engine and, and the Starship spacecraft through four test flights. Despite considerable performance enhancements, engine issues still occasionally occur, such as early shutdown during launch or landing of the booster stage. The upcoming tests of Raptor V3, coupled with further research, promise to address these issues. In terms of thrust, Raptor 2 increased from 185 to 230 tons, compared to Raptor 1. The next goal is to achieve 280 tons of thrust with Raptor 3. This increase in power paves the way for a larger Starship variant, capable of carrying massive payloads into orbit. In theory, Starship 3, with a significantly taller design compared to Starship 2, could lift over 200 tons of cargo into orbit in fully reusable mode. The visual comparison between Raptor V1 and V2 reveals a significant change in design. While V1 resembled a Christmas tree with numerous plumbing and intricate details, V2 is much sleeker. This simplification not only improves engine performance, also helps SpaceX save costs and production time for Raptor 2. Elon Musk has disclosed that the manufacturing cost of V2 is only half of V1's, despite significantly stronger performance. The lead engine, on the other hand, represents a revolutionary step forward. This entirely new design necessitated a complete restructuring of the engine's architecture. A standout feature of the lead engine is its extensive use of 3D printing technology. 
enabling the creation of complex and optimized internal shapes. However, 3D printing also significantly increases production costs due to the need for specialized equipment, materials, and processes to withstand extreme temperatures and pressures. The next generation Raptor aims to strike a balance between innovation and practicality. A notable feature of this version is the complete elimination of the external heat shield requirement, promising a substantial reduction in rocket weight. In 2021, SpaceX announced the construction of a second Raptor engine production facility in South Texas, close to the current engine test area. The new plant will focus on mass-producing Raptor 2 engines, while the California facility will handle the production of vacuum-optimized Raptors and new SL test models. Previously, in 2019, the cost of producing a Raptor engine was approximately $1 million USD. SpaceX aims to mass-produce 500 Raptor engines annually, with costs reduced to below 250,000 USD per unit. However, by the end of 2021, engine production capacity was identified as a primary limitation in Starship fabrication. To meet the dense testing schedule of Starship in 2022, SpaceX needs to achieve a production rate of at least one engine every two weeks. This is a significant challenge requiring the company to enhance its manufacturing capabilities. Elon Musk once shared that failure in developing the Raptor engine could have led to bankruptcy for the company. Fortunately, SpaceX has achieved significant milestone. The Raptor engine not only powers the first stage of Starship, but also the second stage. Currently, Starship's second stage utilizes three standard Raptor engines and three vacuum-optimized Raptor engines, RVAC. The Raptor engine represents a monumental leap from SpaceX's current Merlin engines. The key difference lies in Raptor's use of super-chilled liquid methane and oxygen as fuel, cooled to extremely low temperatures rather than just boiling point cooling like conventional rocket in. This technology allows Raptor to achieve higher fuel density, enabling Starship to carry more fuel per launch. Moreover, Raptor employs a more complex combustion cycle called Full Flow Staged Combustion Cycle, which optimizes operational efficiency. The fuel improvements in Raptor not only increase fuel density, but also the super-chilled fuel enhances the specific impulse of the engine while minimizing the risk of cavitation within the turbopump. All these factors significantly contribute to the engine's performance and future potential. If SpaceX completes Raptor 3 testing with promising results, mass production could be implemented in the near future. While it is still early to determine Raptor V3's impact on the space industry, the anticipated improvements in performance and breakthrough potential promise positive changes. And those are the noteworthy highlights from today's broadcast. Please leave your comments on this episode and stay tuned for more exciting events in upcoming episodes. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Catch more interesting videos on the Elon Musk Signal channel. Goodbye and see you again.